Hi, it's Coach Jardy here, and um, I decided to make this video uh, in dedication to one of my patients. She told me the other day, now a little background on her, she's uh, a little bit heavy, um, and she has some medical issues, and she was concerned about losing weight in order to prevent the progression of her medical problems. So I started, of course, what I love to do, and giving her information, advice on how she can change her ways of diet, little small changes before making big changes. And she basically just, you know, took almost like a defeatist approach and saying, I don't know how to do, I don't know, I don't know. And, you know, when it comes to any fit uh, weight, when it comes to anything, basically, you know, knowledge is power. So, you know, the same thing applies for fitness. You don't know, it can actually sabotage you. And basically she said that if she knew how to make broccoli at home, she wouldn't buy for the Chinese food restaurant. So, I'm making broccoli for you. All right, so I'm here back at the stove, and if you haven't realized yet, I love me some broccoli. Uh, yeah, I love broccoli, and you should too, it's good for you. All right, so I am um, just gonna go through what I did. I have already have some fish mahi-mahi that I grilled. I have a grill pan, and this was actually from Trader Joe's fish. It came in a package, pretty much like this. All I do, and, it, and there's seasoning on the package, in, on the fish. It has about 130 calories, 4.5 grams of fat, and 21 grams of protein. You can't get better than that. All right, so I grilled up some mahi-mahi. I'm just gonna take that off the grill. And if you can see, I've already chopped up some broccoli, okay? And the same thing, you know, it, it's almost it's not quite the same as when I made the omelet. I didn't chop it up so small. You're not adding it to, you know, a mixture. You're basically cooking it on its own. So you want kind of relatively good sized pieces, you know? You don't want small pieces. Then I took my pan. I'm gonna move this a little closer. I have a pan with some oil in it. I'm gonna heat it up. And basically the only thing you need, a little pepper, of course the broccoli, little chicken stock, and a little bit of salt to taste. I like kosher salt. And my favorite. You can get this from your you know your local Asian market I have some chili garlic sauce it's basically chilies with like some garlic in it, it smells awesome there's no sugar in it either so you can use this knowing that you are added a condiment that's not going to add calories and sugar and a whole bunch of fat alright so basically you heat the oil in the pan okay so when the pan is nice and hot you want to go ahead and add your your broccoli. You want the pan hot because you want it to steam. So having the it's gonna it's gonna heat up pretty quickly. All right, get that going. Then you want to add a little chicken stock. And you want to cover it to steam. In another minute or so, you'll add your chili sauce, a little pepper, a little salt, okay? And I'll show you that when I come back. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Okay, over left shoulder for good luck. Add a little bit of pepper. You can minus the pepper if you have the chili garlic. But if you don't have the chili garlic, then I don't know what to tell you. You can add pepper. Add pepper, or you can have chili flakes. 
You like it spicy? I like it spicy. That's that's a lot. Not too much. You don't get crazy. want it to steam up a little longer. Now, now that you have some flavor going on in there, let it steam up a little bit longer, okay? So cooking time should be in total of maybe five minutes. How good does that look? You have the chicken broth that's added some little bit of flavor as well as the chili garlic or whatever, whatever type of um, maybe like little spicy or chili flakes or anything that you can add to it or you don't even have to add that to it. But don't add butter. No butter. Don't let me have to tell you again. No butter. Anyway, so you want to just add flavor in ways that are healthy. And this is a good way to add them. Good healthy flavor to broccoli, you know. And honestly, you can put a little bit of soy sauce on it and it'll taste just as good as what you get for the Chinese food restaurant and healthier. I'm going to plate this up. Okay. Oops. Five second roll. Mm. And of course, you can take the sauce from this and put it on top of your, your fish. Now the first thing I do anytime I finish making dinner is I go ahead and get my Tupperware and add some to take to work the next day. That way, I have dinner for my day at work. Maybe I need a spoon, right? Okay, see that? So I have a healthy dinner for now and later. So in less than 10 minutes, I was able to create a healthy, delicious dinner for tonight and tomorrow at work. It doesn't take much to actually make huge changes in your life toward living a longer life. All you have to do is ask, and that's what I'm here for. So if you guys have any questions, suggestions, feel free, and I'll try to see what I can do. This is Coach Darty signing out from the Beachbody team. Take care. Thank you.